Hey, it's Ray from Pretty Little Russet. Uh, Let's jump right into last night's dinner. I used boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I got from Walmart. That was after I washed them. And this is me cutting the fat off the chicken. Sorry about the delay. I had to press play on my iPad. Season 2 of Bosch Legacy is on Amazon Prime, and I had to watch it. I usually don't use chicken thighs. I mostly use chicken breast, only because they're easier to clean, not too much fat that needs to be removed from it. Just a preference. Here, I'm just patting the chicken with a paper towel to get any excess moisture make sure you season your food guys off camera i did change gloves um seasoning black pepper dano's original garlic powder Turmeric, ginger, although the ginger didn't want to come out, so I had to fix it up there. Let's see. All right, we got the ginger. We have some smoked paprika. FYI, I'm not coughing, just in pain, trying to push through. I pulled the muscle in my back. And a little Himalayan pink sea salt. Just mixing it there. Gotta get your hands in the food, guys. Just making sure that every piece is seasoned. Gonna add a little more of the Danos garlic powder and a little bit more sea salt. And drizzle on some EVOO. And mix it all together. And after I mixed it, I put a lid on it and just put it in the fridge until I was ready to cook it. Made sure everything had seasoning on it. Now we're gonna prepare the asparagus. Now, I don't know if if my knife is dull or that plastic is just hella strong, but I could not get it out. So I'm just gonna make sure they're all even and cut off the ends. Clean up. Clean up everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up everybody. Do your share. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna rinse off the asparagus and dry it with a paper towel. In the same pan, I'm gonna cook it in. Just gonna even them out. One layer. Sprinkle with some EVOO. I really sprinkle drizzle with some EVOO, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Get your hands in the food, guys. (laughs) Making sure they're all even. Adding some garlic powder now. Trying to open it with one hand. I preheated the oven to 375 and after I washed my hands there, I put the asparagus in the oven to then get started on the chicken. And I 
pan sear the chicken in a little bit of olive oil. At this point, I wasn't really sure how I was going to finish this chicken, if I was just going to leave it cooked. After I flipped it, I decided to smother the chicken and make like a little gravy to say. So I added water and I let it just boil in the water. I turned the fire down and just covered it up and let it simmer in the water. And I put in a big tablespoon of Better Than Bouillon roasted chicken base. I absolutely love Better Than Bouillon. I have the beef, the lobster, and the chicken base. I so love the flavor that it gives to your food. I definitely want to get the sofrito, the chipotle, the vegetable, and any other one that they have because they are awesome. So I'm just putting it in the pan and mixing it around to make sure that it dissolves. Do you guys use aluminum pans or do you have like a baking dish? Let me know in the comments. And to thicken the broth, I wanted to add a little cornstarch slurry. And off the camera, I did add in a little soy sauce into the slurry before I added it to the pan. And here we are. I just turned it down low to let it finish cooking and let all the seasoning and spices come together. And here we are, plate in the food. I added some kimchi at the end. I finished that plate, yo. Oh, this rice that I used, I forgot to add it in earlier, is a, a white sticky rice. It was really good with the sauce on it. So like and subscribe for more content. Later.